Now, the quest to tell the African and African-American stories of success through film propelled Nate Araya to come up with a black startup series. The Ethiopian-American was inspired in part by his hard-working parents who immigrated to the U.S. before he was born. The digital storyteller, entrepreneur and award-winning director of an African Movie Academy Award, his nominated filmmaker has been mentioned for changing the face of international development and Nate joins me here to tell us more. Welcome to Africa 54, Nate. Thank you for having me, Esther. You've created a very exciting new documentary series. What exactly inspired you? Yes, yeah, so the Black Startup Series is a three-part documentary series that spotlights startup stories of successful black-owned business founders. As an entrepreneur and filmmaker, I've had the opportunity to travel the world. And what I've come to notice is that there is a surplus of talent within our global black community, but also a scarce of access to opportunity. So there's, there's surplus talent, but scarce opportunity. So our goal with this project is to really look at ways where we can uh, focus on giving more access to inspiring stories of representation within our community. What are some of the financial, you know, uh, kind of uh, tips you've learned through this journey that you can inspire our audiences to be, to do exactly, you know, something similar to what you're doing right now? Yeah, financial tips. I think no matter what financial state that you're in right now, I think being able to create a budget is important. And, you know, coming from our community, the way we think about budget, sometimes it's restrictive and we think it's self um, deprivation. But I think it's actually about heightened self awareness. You know, budget leads to great opportunities for us to be able to be a little more financially literate and produce some great opportunities for us to kind of grow within our community. So, Nate, you know, you produce several, and I've watched a couple of them, you know, very motivational. But what do you want your audience? audience to walk away with when they watch these documentaries? I think access is the cornerstone of power. So I'm, I'm hoping the audiences can have access into the, this film and be able to really see themselves and see the potential that they have with the rep representation that exists within this film and begin to launch their own businesses and become a little more financially uh, educated and have these conversations with family members, friends and close loved ones to really reach and maximize their potential. How is it like when you meet with some of those that we've watched some of them and some of them said we didn't even think we could be what we are today. What made them, you know, cross that bridge and say I can do it? I think they these individuals are disciplined, they're persistent, black persistence. Uh, one thing I do understand, especially with financial literacy, is that financial literacy can only be as good as financial discipline. So I think these individuals have been very committed and have been able to overcome all types of challenges to amount to great things that they're doing today. What are you working on right now? Right now I am on tour. Uh, a film and financial literacy tour with the Black Startup Series. We're hosting screenings at different universities, corporations, to really focus on black entrepreneurship and financial education. And people can get involved by, you know, uh, coming to the screenings or hosting their own screening of the Black Startup Series. How can people connect with you and support what you're doing and learn something so they can be able to do something for themselves and, you know, be a star like you? Absolutely. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, they can go to my website, natearaya.com slash Black Startup Series, and they can actually join the Black Startup and Career Network uh, that's providing financial literacy resources, professional development, and we're connecting black startup founders with investors. And that's been a huge gap that I'm excited to fill. So do you plan to go to Africa and maybe do something similar? Absolutely, absolutely. I've been to Ethiopia plenty of times, and Senegal as well, and I've really enjoyed seeing the surplus of, of talent that exists within those spaces and looking forward to providing more access of opportunity to people that come from our background. Nate, you are an inspiration. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. to our show today.